to advance in the world, criminals have devised new ways to manipulate innocent online users and many at times swindling their accounts posing a threat to cybersecurity. In our special feature today, our reporter Paul Munio digs deeper into some of the methods hackers use and how to avoid them. As technology advances, people across the world are relying on internet to store sensitive information. However, cyber insecurity has become a threat to people across the world. In the early 90s, the computers were learning to talk to each other and it was indeed the early days of internet designed to make work easier and to pass information from one point to another. It was a step towards a bright future with infinite possibilities. Technology brought everything all together in one gadget. So there is Google, you can, you can actually get any information anywhere you are. It has made communication easier. Today, you can shop, bank, connect with family and friends, and even make money from wherever you are, thanks to technology. Of course, everyone else is excited. However, all these conveniences have a dark side. The fact that we share a lot of data online, uh, the internet is growing so wide, so it's easy for, pe for people to obtain our data online, just the, the, our data that is publicly available and then they can be able to use that data to target our devices. With the ongoing economic crisis, people have found easy ways to make money through online platforms where those who want to get rich fast invest, hold and make profits. The generation that we are being raised today wants shortcut. There are so many risks out there uh, from fishing. People are hacked every other day. Making profits, however, is always not the exciting part. This is what they don't tell you about the online opportunities. Information is power. So once the guys with the band ident they get to collect a lot of data for us, then they can use that data to convince us into doing something. They convince us into filling data on forms that uh, can they can later use to uh, to call us maybe or maybe they can later use those details to send us links or maybe applications that we can download and those applications they give them access to their devices and our privacy. Social media has a lot of power than what we think. You know, we get to connect with people, yes, but uh, for me, social media and cyberbullying is something that if not uh, worked on will create a big problem because we are having people studying masters, PhDs, degrees, diplomas, but they can't even handle cyberbullying. We have digitalized ourselves so much and opened up our information records to the outside world, giving criminals an opportunity to steal our information, sell it and make money. I was called by a random number and the guy was requesting for my details. He claimed he's upgrading my line, so I gave out my name my number, my date of birth, and I also gave out my M-Pesa pin. My quest to find how this works took me to a search where I met an IT specialist who demonstrated to us just how easy data can be encrypted through malicious links, documents, and flash disks. So what I am doing is that uh, I am trying to generate uh, a backdoor that is going to be embedded together with our document. Then this word document can be used to compromise an organization or maybe target a user or maybe try to convince a particular group of people that it's a, a, a real document. But again, uh, the document contains something that is malicious in the background. I was keen to ask about the motivation factor which entices people to engage in cybercrime and this is what he said. Money, money factor. Because that, that's why you find most of them are targeting financial institutions or maybe when they get to hack your uh, social media account they are asking people to send them money and such. So most of the guys are just doing it for money. I just a few of them that are doing it for fun because some people feel that uh, once I compromise your Facebook account or maybe I'm able to get into your privacy, it gives them that feeling of power. He then went ahead and cloned a document which he would later send to my computer, infecting it and allowing him to operate my machine remotely without my knowledge. Uh, we just need to be careful on what we are doing over the internet. Not just any links that comes to your WhatsApp, that comes to your any book that you just click into. Not just anything that you are promised online uh, that you have to check to. 
and again not an application that you are not to install that you are supposed to install into your Android or maybe iOS device. There is one major big problem which we're trying to solve. How can we get senior management to be able to be aware of what cyber risks are and be able to make sure that they also understand what to do or yeah. what investments are needed that they can put that in a budget. It's always a very difficult conversation when IT managers or security managers get to ask for budget approval yeah. for them to protect their organizations. By the time they want to get that done, sometimes they get hacked, they lose data, and they lose a lot so much more before they get to wait for the wake up. We need to be able to make sure that we can get this done prior to the time when this is going to happen. Use passwords, you know, um, use, uh, make sure that you're using encryption. Don't um, leave just everything out there because you never know has access to this device, it may be stolen. Generally, before concrete solutions are developed, the online community ought to embrace the already available prevention measures provided for by our computer experts in order to protect our data and reputation from online criminals. Paul Munio, TV 47. Now you're on the know. Thank you, Paul, for that report. Now the war against teenage and in the war against teenage and unintended pregnancies in Transoria County received a major boost after the county government acquired a mobile clinic.